I'm Patrick Bedevi, your host of Valuetainment, and I want to tell you about what happened yesterday. I was having lunch with a friend at Rafi's place. If you haven't been to Rafi's place, Paul, can we put a picture of Rafi's place and a link on the bottom? It's by far the best Middle Eastern restaurant in America. You got to go to it if you haven't been. It's in LA, Glendale, California. Anyways, we were sitting there talking, and as we're sitting having a conversation, he asked a formula for me. He says, hey, Patrick, so, you know, what would you say is the formula for wealth creation, right? What is the formula for wealth creation? Hey, you know, you have a black card, you have this, and you made millions of dollars, that, 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 all this stuff. He said, so what is the formula for creation? The conversation came out, I'm taking out all this stuff, and, and I said, well, that's a pretty good question. You know, I've been asked that before, and I got a very simple three-step formula on how to create wealth. It's very simple for me. Here's what I did, okay? So first thing you have to do is you got to get a paper and pen and make a list of the most important skill set you can learn, whatever that skill is, write it down, okay? Um, I'm gonna learn how to play piano, I'm gonna learn how to draw, I'm gonna learn how to cook, I'm gonna learn how to work on a car, whatever it is, you write down different skill sets. And to me, by far the most important skill set I came up with is sales, period. Um, the presidential debate's taking place right on the Republican side and you're hearing the left and the right, you're hearing Hillary, Bernie Sanders, you know, uh, uh, all these guys on the left that are getting up there saying, hey, you should vote for me because I'm this, I'm this, I'm that. And you're seeing the right, Carson, Rubio, Cruz, Huckabee, Trump, Jeb Bush, all these guys are getting up saying, why you ought to vote for me to become a president, right? They're campaigning. But the number one skill set, if you think about the number one skill set on why a person will vote for somebody else is sales. That person knows how to sell. Barack Obama knew how to sell a dream. McCain had no idea how to sell a dream. He had no idea how to sell anything, right? Jimmy Carter didn't know how to sell. Ronald Reagan knew how to sell. Um, everything is about selling. You got to sell. You got to sell and cast a vision. You got to sell. Selling is the number one skill you got to learn. So for me, three steps to become a wealthy. Number one, learn the skill set of sales. And to learn the skill set of sales, there's a lot of books you got to read. I have 100 books uh, to read for entrepreneurs. I got several of them that are uh, on my website. Paul, can we put a link of the uh, uh, top 100 books for them to go to, Mario? Let's put that on the bottom of, as well. If you go on the bottom, you click on it. Go and order all the books on that website. You'll see one by one by one the ones that are in sales. Okay, so number one skill is sales. So you got to learn the skill set of sales. Second thing you have to do, the second thing I did is choose an industry. So what is an industry you choose to be a part of, right? So now I wrote out on a sheet of paper I had, so biotech, and in order to biotech, I need to go do this. Okay, do I wanna go out there and sell, you know, pharmaceutical sales, is that what I wanna sell? Do I wanna go out and sell technology? Do I wanna go sell real estate? Do I wanna go sell mortgages? Do I wanna go sell this? Do I wanna go sell, you know, nutritionals, you know, long distance, boom. I finally chose financial industry, and within the financial industry, I got very specific to the life insurance industry, and I'll tell you why I chose this industry. I was in uh, New Orleans two weeks ago. We're at uh, the, the the infamous uh, Bourbon, <laughs> we're on Bourbon uh, uh, Bourbon Street or Bourbon Boulevard, whatever it is. We're at Bourbon, you know, which you know, that place is a place where it's sponsored by alcohol. I don't know what it is, but everywhere it smells like beer. And one of my one of my good friends, Matt, he asks me a question. He says, "Hey, Pat." When you, when you got into the financial industry, you got your Series 7, 66, 31, 26, all this stuff, why did you go away from being a money manager to being an insurance agent? I said, very good question. This was my answer to him. I said, look, I have never in my life seen a client cry and get emotional over me getting him on a stock or a mutual fund a 30% return. I've never seen a person get emotional. It's more like, hey, by the way, Mr. Jones, you know, your mutual fund did 22% last year. Market was great. Okay, awesome. That's great news. Okay, I got to go buy. I've never seen emotion. It was just, that's it. I'm just great news that you're telling me this. On the complete opposite side, I've never seen that much emotion with a product being sold when I hear a client who loses a loved one and you deliver a death benefit or you see the family telling a story of what happened to them when an insurance policy was bought and how it changed their lives. I mean, there's several clients that we deal with. One of my friends, Spring 
Eatman, can we put the link of her video on the bottom? This is, I mean, try watching this video of Spring and I challenge you to not get emotional watching it. So the moment I went from seeing the fact that this is all money, 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 great, there's many ways to make money, I wanted a part of it to be crusade where my heart gets connected to it. This is one of the reasons why I love the military because to me, I chose the skill set sales. The industry I chose was insurance because I felt insurance within a financial industry was the patriots of the financial industry. That's how I see it. I see insurance agents are the patriots of the financial industry because you know, no one wants to do it. They need it, everybody needs it, but no one wants to do it. I chose to take that route. You can call it crazy, whatever, but we chose an industry that we got excited about. It gives great pay, great renewals. It gives an incredible life. People who are in it for 10 years have unbelievable lives who do the right, but that's the industry I chose, right? Step number three. So you choose the skill set. You choose the industry. Skill number three is the people you want to run with. That's the next thing you got to figure out. You know, one skill, industry, the group of people you want to run with, the jersey, the group of people you want to run with. Why is this so important? Very simple. Because one, common values, common principles, common vision, common goals. And, and when you're running with an organization, typically one of the conversations I was having with the same gentleman I was having lunch with at Rafi's place, there was a frustration he had because he's in a place that he is exploding with ambition and he wants to grow and do all this stuff. And here's a hundred something year old company that's doing business the old fashioned way. That's doing business, oh, we don't want to do this. So we don't want to change it. So we don't want to do that. And they're sitting around and okay, that's not how we do things. We're not used to social media. We're not used to videos, all this. Stuff. No, 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 no. No, you can't do that. No, you can't post that up. Why not? So to him, there's friction between him having so much drive and he can't do it. You got to find the right group of people. The other side when there's friction is the company is thinking big. The company is going places and then the person in it doesn't necessarily have the desire to be that ambitious and they kind of want to go on cruise control and they don't want to be challenged anymore. They want to stay there. That's typically when you have the relationship there. But you get to choose. Choose the skill. Write it down. Choose the industry. Be specific with what industry you want to choose. Then find a group of people you want to run with. Common values common uh, uh, morals, common vision, common things that they want to do that challenges you to also get better. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, you're, you're creating wealth, you're making money, you're doing great things. But believe me when I tell you, the skill set of sales is absolutely important. I read a book one time called Barbarians to Bureaucrats by Lawrence Miller. I called him. I said, hey, how come this book is never sold? How come it's only got this many reviews? He says, what do you mean? I said, I'd like to buy the book. Can I buy? So you can buy the book on Amazon. I said, I'd like to buy your book because the content in this thing is incredible in this book. When it explains the cyclical cycles of a society, organization, a company. But the reason why this didn't sell is because somebody didn't sell it. Either he didn't sell it or the publisher didn't sell it. Who's the publisher? Fawcett, Columbine, whatever, it didn't sell it. Somebody didn't sell it. This is one of the best, I've read 1,000, 1,100 books. This is one of the best business books I've ever read because the most important skill set to learn is sales. And when you put that formula together, you have a shot at creating wealth based on how ambitious you are and based on how much work you think you put into it. It's my message of the week to you, and please be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you got any questions, comment on the bottom. Thanks for watching.